Hey, how is everybody doing? This is Sam, and this is Outdoors of Maryland, and right here is my wonderful wife, Mrs. Outdoors of Maryland, and that is Lori. Right now, she's doing one of her favorite things to do in the world in the summertime, and that is blue crabbing. This is our second to the last trip of the year, and what that means, it is fall. So now it's time for Sam to get back to doing some fishing, and that means striper fishing. Hopefully, we are gonna be going after some giant blue catfish and even going after it with that four pound test doing some light pan fishing from white perch yellow perch you name it and with everything that we harvest this year you can guarantee we are bringing it back to the kitchen and we're going to be doing some food recipes for you guys so won't you consider subscribing to the channel and don't be scared because it is free to do make sure you hit the notification bell right next to it that will let you know that we have just posted a video so you can check it out. All right, so let's go and get some crabbing and see how we do this. This crab that we got in here is bigger than eight inches. I haven't been filming because I've been wanting to see what was going on. But she's pulling traps and she's female. Bring her, put her in there. See she's. Go get on that one. The eyes. All right, come, come on. You're really slowed up. She's. Chicken necks have eyes. So we went to a we went to a place today and and we weren't going to come today because they're calling for rain later this afternoon so i said just make a decision to go so we came out and we didn't bring the trout line because we said we'll just do traps in case it rains we can put up didn't bring the bimini top so this is our first run right now we got a dozen of crabs and one of them might be probably nine bubba. inches bubba. bubba she says the biggest crab here i'm gonna show you in a minute but we're gonna pull the rest of these traps right now I think this might be the last one, last two. How do you know? There's another one. Yeah, I'm gonna put a marker on it. We kind of just ran in a circle. We're from five foot, we're five foot, four, we're in all depths. And right now we're catching them in all depths. From five, two foot. You brought that up slowly like you had something in it. We got an outgoing tide. It's first time I, and with the big crabs, they're actually getting their chicken eggs. I start filming and then there ain't no crabs. Cool. I might have to turn this thing off. Okay. Is that the last one or? That's the last one. All right. There he is. Ooh, that's a big ass oh crab. God, I never, can you get him though? He's so... Come on, give me this. Here, you try to get him because he's connected. I'm just saying, look at my hand. Holy moly. <laughs> You see how big that crab? Dude, that, that, that might be ten inches. 10 points. That might be ten inch crab. Oh my god. That's a that's a monster. Oh, Look at the claws on them. That is just crazy. That's all we caught one run. That's awesome. Yeah, that might be a ten inch crab right here. Suck it in, baby. Suck it in. Isn't it? I'm not complaining. Got a quarter of a bushel. Soon we start recording. Yep, it's always happening. Soon as we start recording. Oh crap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, baby. Goodness, he's huge too. All right, all right, all right. Maybe. Oh my God, it's heavy. Oh, oh. Holy crap.
are big crabs. <laughs> So we picked this guy up and look how dirty. This is an old crab. This is a really old crab. I don't, he's probably so old, he's probably not even gonna shed his skin. See me? Really old. We're not gonna keep him because he's so, I mean, he is just, he's got so much mud, it's grounded in on him. This is how old this crab is. Um, so we're not gonna keep him. He's been living this long. I think we're just gonna let him go, somebody else keep him. They always say the dirty, rusty, but I think he's a little bit more dirty and rusty. Look. Look at his tips. They're like maroon. Look, they're like maroon. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah, they. Went this is color. really cool. This is actually a really cool looking crab. Yeah. You know. Looks like hermaphrodite. He is, he is so old. <laughs> it's got the pink on it. Or yeah. the maroon. That's, that's a male. But we're gonna let him go. Whoa. Goodie. So we did five little runs with our thirty traps, and look at that already. I mean, we're close to a bushel already. This is this is pretty good. I think we might be able to do two more runs, and uh, we might be able to call it. That was a quick trip. I'll take that quick trip any day. We almost didn't come out today. Oh my God. <laughs> we crap. That was funny. Yeah, I got him. That was funny, right? <gasps> They're quick. Very quick. Oh, do you see that? I'm surprised he didn't get out. He was like hanging on. Didn't I didn't see him at all. I was going <laughs> to put it right back in. Just hanging there. Hanging around. Man, we might fill a bushel. That's our fifth run with traps. Five runs. Oh. We've been here two hours. We've been, it's been pretty tough. Okay. <laughs> it's been tough. Not really. No, I'm talking about all season. Oh yeah, I know. Hopefully it just gets better now. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, baby. So we've been out here for we got out of here about crab noon. Queen Slayer. We got out of here about noon. I was saying probably started crabbing about 12.30. It's now 2.30. Uh, maybe a little longer. Quarter of three, and that thing's almost. We do it wrong. We're gonna get close to a bushel, man. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, when's it gonna end? <laughs> well, we didn't quite kill the bushel. Almost. Well, if we would have did another run, we would have. Yeah, we did another run. We Let me We're good. We got here about noon. Got to our spot at 12:30. What time is it? 3:37. 3:37. So two and a half hours. You know, the boat ride back, and we got a bushel of crabs. Oh my God, It's and the season's getting close. Very close, cold weather's coming in. We're gonna have highs of 60s next week, yeah. and crabs will start moving out. Yeah. But you know what I'm really excited about? I'm excited about fishing. striper fishing. Right now, with the weather starting to cool off, that top water bite is gonna be freaking awesome. So we got stripers and hunting is already here, but I don't go when it's hot out. I'm not going when it's 80 some degrees out. But we got some cool weather coming in. I'm ready. Hey, we'll see you live. We'll see you live.